an experiment you should never do. What happens when you leave your contacts in for six months? Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for DNews. I used to wear contacts, as some of you old school DNews viewers may remember, but then I decided that all the itchy, uncomfortable cardboard on your eyeballs feeling really wasn't worth it, which is why I'm completely mystified as to why, how a young woman in Taiwan left her contacts on for six months. Six months! Like, did you forget? Or were you just feeling lazy? Or what? Because now she's paying the price with blindness. 23 year old Lian Cao reportedly left the contacts on without removing or cleaning them once, even while swimming. This created a perfect haven for a tiny amoeba called a canthamoeba to munch up on the bacteria as it nestled between her contact lens and her eye. Because the bacteria was on her eye, the amoeba began eating away at her retina and eventually ate the surface of her eye. This is a condition called bacterial keratitis, and the amoeba that ate up cow's eyeball is responsible for 95% of cases. Not surprising since the canthamoeba is readily found in dirt, dust, showers, and of course those nasty bacteria-laden cesspools, otherwise known as swimming pools. Cow's story is a cautionary tale to the 70-some million people who wear contact lenses worldwide. So contacts are one of those things that you don't go into without dedicating yourself to full-fledged hygiene mode. I mean, they're hanging out on your eyeball all day. Amoebas and bacteria are a problem that can arise with improper contact use, of course, but so is a lack of oxygen. If you leave your contacts on for too long, it can leave tiny tears in the epithelium, which is the outer layer that protects your eyes against dust, water, and bacteria. Those tears then become breeding grounds for bacteria. They can occur if you allow your contacts to touch water as well. The contacts will swell up, absorbing the unsterile water and microorganisms, changing the fit of the contact, which is why it feels kind of tight on your eye. This tightening on the eye is what causes the teensy tiny tears and opens you up to infection if there's bacteria on the contact. So other common no-nos that should go without saying, reusing solution, using your saliva instead, or using the same contact case for months and months. Those are all basically begging for an infection. Moral of the story, always practice proper contacts protocol, and for the love of science, please don't wear those things longer than you're supposed to. Thanks for joining me for DNews, everyone. I'll see you next time.